Hi, from the main menu here, what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to select the Finder functionality and I'm going to give an overview of the satellite installation and the various features that are available here. So once again, we just arrow up and down to select what we want. In this case, satellite installation is the default choice. And we come here and we can see there's a long list of satellites available here. So we'll just go to the end of the list here. So there's a total of about um, 52. A lot of these are ones that are simply sort of spurious uh, towards the end of the list. So in reality, we have about 50 or about 45 satellites, I think, tuned in with, with full transponder lists. Now, obviously for the Ireland and, and the UK, the one that we'll be most interested in will be 28 degrees east. So I'll just come down as far as this and uh, we have it here. So it's the Astra 2 and we can see immediately the signal levels are getting stronger here. Now, if we were actually aligning a satellite this year, we might be aligning here directly onto it. We'll be looking at the percentage thing and we'll be trying to adjust our dish, obviously, to try to up and, uh, the, the, both the, the, the signal quality and strength to the maximum possible, okay? So um, I'm just gonna turn on the F3 button here, which is here a beep now. And that's telling us we have a very strong signal there. But basically, yeah, the, the way this works is that if you had a very weak signal, there'll be no beep. And the stronger and the faster and louder the beep becomes, the closer you are to having an ideal setup on it. So what we can do here is we can actually go directly in and look and try to set up the dish for a very specific um, transponder. So what I'll do here is I'll just go for the option here, if you can see on the screen, which is um, SAT. TP. So just hit the, hit the green function button here. And what we could do here is we can hit, choose a, ch a particular transponder. So if I come along here and I said, yeah, this is the transponder I want. Uh, I'm going to check the BBCs or something like this. What I can actually do is I can come along and I can press the red button and uh, go for a scan. It'll ask me what type would I like to do. So I will say, well, I don't have a card reader on it. So I'm only interested in free channels. I'm only interested in the TV channels and we'll leave the knit search thing and I'll come along here um, and I'll just go for manual scan. So I'll search you here, I think it's probably channel four and a few things like that. And these have been added directly on. Now, if I wanted to actually go and see these, what I could do at this point is I could just hit the exit button out and we're directly in here. So we have uh, some memories here. So what we'll do is I'll just go back in here again and we'll come back out to the satellite channels here. So we can see here um, that that was the transponder that I chose. Now, if we went for a different transponder here next, we'll see we've no signal strength initially, and then it kicks in, we can see the higher levels, but we can actually see the thing on it. So you can just try to do a slight adjustment for um, the satellite as a whole or for the individual transponders on it, okay? If we came along and we said, oh, the transponder that I'm interested in, it's a new transponder, it's a new channel that's after being launched, and it's not covered by the preset menus here, to add a transponder on is extremely easy. All we need to do is come along, and once again, uh, we just um, hit, uh, we'll say, the edit button here, which is the blue button, and it asks, would we like to add a transponder? So I'll just arrow up here as far as add. And what we can do here is we could type in the symbol rate. So we'll say that uh, the frequency here, so we'll say this frequency was one, zero, seven, uh, four, um, four. Uh, but we'll say that, um, that the symbol rate here will be two, seven, five, zero, zero. And that we'll set it to horizontal here. And we'll arrow down again and we'll save it onto the list here. So you can see it's gone on to the end of the list. So we can see that the signal strength is very high, but the quality is wrong because there is no transponder really being broadcast on that. So it's picking up noise, but not picking up uh, quality on it. If we're unhappy with this and say, oh, we've made a choice, we can simply hit the edit button again, come down, we have it selected, and we just uh, click on delete transponder, and we're sure, yes, and we drop it off the list like that. So it's very, very straightforward. Indeed, if we actually come along here, we'll say, and we want to add on a satellite, when we're external like this, what we can actually do is we can come along and we could once again use the edit button and we have a choice of adding on a satellite. So we'll add on a satellite with a name, etc., on it. And what we can do then is we can add a transponder list to it internally afterwards. So it can be slow and laborious to do that. One of the typical ones you might be doing it would be something like Sarasat. So you'd come along and Sarasat is on Utilsat 9 degrees east. 
So you might have particular transponder things and you can add them directly on in that manner. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's, it's worth going through. Well, I'll just give a quick overview maybe. Just that the add here now and it just asks the longitude and we just save the name. And once we've added it on, we can come along and do the new thing here. So if I just press into the thing here, I could just go to, um, let's say Utilsat, uh, Util, and uh, I'll just um, come over here. I, I'm so painfully slow on this now. I might just leave it at uh, UT. Um, and uh, we'll just come along here. Util. And I'll come down. OK. And I'll just arrow down as far here. And I'll put in my 9 degrees here. So 0, 0, 9. Uh, 9. And I'll arrow down and I'll save it. And that's been added on uh, to the end of the list here. And what we can do here is we can come along and we could add on the transponders as I wanted to do before, etc. So um, it's pretty straightforward on that. Just to show you one thing from the aerial thing here, when we come along here and we just hit the menu button and I want to arrow over as far as, um, uh, what do you call it, the settings uh, system here. If we wanted to delete all the channels that we're after picking up, when we were actually um, working with the satellite there, what we'd actually come along here is just delete all channels, and this is um, the safest and quickest way of just deleting them all out. And if we exit all the way out now, it's totally blank, no channels on it. So that's it anyway, um, an overview of the satellite um, uh, finding functionality that comes on the SAB uh, X Finder.